All right, mister, what do you think you're doing? Stand up straight! Tuck in that shirt! Adjust that belt buckle! Tie those shoes! Burning tires in a stolen car I fucked up so bad outside the bar Heading out as far away I can Heart is pounding, got some damn out of hand Doing nighting through the city night Nothing's ever gonna be alright Life will never be what it was Hands are shaking Cause now my future is crashing down on me So, searching by image is something I'm doing all the time. Before I used Windows 10 default tools to perform the action, and now I will do the same with GNOME default tooling and compare. First thing to do, is to take a screenshot. Then I will switch workspace, and that is optional, and I will open the official photos app. Then I will open my image, that luckily is on the very top, otherwise there is no way to find it. Then, I need to do a crop. And Dome Photos is the only image application in 2020 that has in face recognition. When we click done, Photos doesn't actually create a new image, and I will come back to that later. So, next we need to make an export. Now, why a desktop app doesn't allow us to save to a custom location? Nobody knows. So I will export on a new directory inside pictures, an image that I only want temporary to use. Then, I need to go back to Chrome and open Google Images Search. And then, we need to go back to Files app, and drag and drop our image to Google Search. If anyone actually knows how to do that drag and drop, that doesn't even work in Ubuntu, because they have disabled the hot corner. And now watch one of Google's biggest failures ever. Google identified the image as a human, the Homo sapiens species. Thank you very much Google, that was so helpful. And aside we didn't manage to find who that guy was, there is some extra work to do. We need to go back to Files app, and remove all the stuff it created. Remember before I said, that save the crop in photos doesn't create a new file? Instead it creates a metadata file, which is the correct way, but why this file needs to be inside the pictures directory and cluttering it? So we need to delete that. And also delete the export folder. And we are done, without having done anything. Although that was mostly Google's fault. You see? Linux YouTubers on their reviews mostly are bothering with menus, application switching, perhaps some options too, but there are so many workflows that every Linux desktop is failing to accomplish fast enough. And maybe it was a bit unfair to use GNOME Photos, that is a pretty dead in development app, but that's the default user experience in GNOME today. Also I want to make a point for the general workflows in GNOME. The design is very focused to the very basic patterns, forgetting that GNOME is an all-purpose desktop, with 20 million users that have various requirements. I don't blame the development that needs more people anyway, but I blame some restrictions on design, that tries to be more simple than it should really be, 